Here we will explain about ICS, the Integrated Closed System Tube Type Lyophilizer. We have developed ICS, a lyophilizer with a concept completely different from conventional shelf type models. ICS can perform both freezing and powderization in a totally sealed environment. With this lyophilizer, the processes from lyophilizing to crushing can be done in a general air-conditioned area. Therefore, the space needed for an aseptic area can be significantly minimized and only requires enough aseptic space for powder filling and cap plugging operations. Now, let me explain the ICS lyophilizing process. The first is the ice lining process. Our patented ice lining technique is pivotal for ICS. In the ice lining process, the liquid for injection flows down from the upper spray tank into the tube and freezes onto the tube's inner surface so that a lining of ice can be formed. Let's look at this enlarged image and take a closer look at the tube. After having been sent through a special nozzle in a manner to form a thin film, the liquid for injection will run down along the tube's inner surface. It eventually forms a thin ice film on the cooled surface inside the tube. The ice lining prevents direct adhesion of the medicinal solution to the tube's inner surface. Next, we will describe how the medicinal solution flows down to and freezes inside the tube. In this process, the medicinal solution in the upper spray tank flows down so that it freezes on top of the ice film previously created on the tube's inner surface. Any medicinal solution that does not freeze will be collected in the other spray tank using pressure differences so that it can be used again. By repeating these operations, uniform ice crystals are formed. This also helps to prevent any medicinal solution from being wasted. Using this enlarged image, let's take a closer look at the medicinal solution freezing process. The solution comes out of the special nozzle at the top of the tube and flows down along the tube's inner surface. The medicinal solution then freezes on the cooled inner surface of the ice lining by repeatedly forming ice crystals. Next, let's look at the lyophilizing process. After the process of freezing the medicinal solution is completed, the inside of the tube is evacuated before the drying process begins. Drying advances from the inside surface of the freezing body until the ice lining sublimates at the end. After the drying process is completed, gaps will be generated between the dried substances and the tube's inner surface, thereby forming the pipe form dried products. This is the final part of our explanation which addresses the process of crushing the dried products. 
after releasing decompression, nitrogen gas is blown through the crush nozzle attached at the bottom of the tube. The gas crushes the dried product, starting from the lower end of the tube, and blows it into the jet mill. The crushed products are then pulverized by the jet mill before being recovered by a cyclone. This completes our explanation of the ICS, the Integrated Closed System Tube Type Lyophilizer.